Hello everyone, welcome to Arrow Engineer. In this video, I'm gonna show you how helicopter rotor bladers work. Helicopter rotors contain several mechanical components put together. Helicopter main rotor, drive shaft, pitch control link, rotating swash plate, fixed swash plate, and control rod impulses. This is called helicopter main rotor. It is just like a wingis, and it has an aerofoil shape. It contains several rotor wings, also called blades, with the control systems. When the main rotor is finished, it generates aerodynamic lift force that lifts the helicopter above the ground. It also provides a terrestrial force, which creates forward flight of the helicopter. Pitch control link connects the swash plate with the main rotor blades, so the pilot can command and change the pitch of the blades. Swash plate is a mechanical device that translates input via the helicopter flight controls into motion of the main rotor blades. Because the main rotor blades are spinning, the swash plate is used to transmit three pilots command from the non-rotating view slash to rotating rotor web and main blades. Control rod impulses allow the pilot to control the helicopter in different axes like the cyclic pitch control, collective pitch control, and also anti torque pedalis or tail rotor control. This is what a swash plate looks like when it is resting in a position. As you can see, the angle of rotor blades are not changed. This is a raised swash plate. When the swash plate is raised, it causes a negative collective plate pitch and it creates a downforce. Tilted swash plate. Tilted swash blade gives you a cyclic plate control. If you carefully look at it, you can see the change in pitch of the blades during the rotation or spin of the main rotor blades. I hope this video added a value to you. If it did so, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel. See you next week.